Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Now You Know Lesson 1. Today, we will be learning about multi-step equations using the distributive property. I welcome you to this lesson, and I hope that you are ready to learn. Our problem today is 9 times 4 plus 6x equals 81. In order to solve this problem, we must find the value of x, as shown here next to the number 6. Okay, so in order to solve this equation, you must use the distributive property. In order to do so, you must distribute the 9 to the 4 and the 9 to the 6. 9 times 4 equals 36 plus 9 times 6x which equals 54x and you always must write the right side of the equation which is 81 next we must place all the variables on one side of the equation now to do this we must subtract 36 from both sides of the equation, which will leave us with 54x equals 81. Now, our equation is 54x equals 45. The next step in solving the equation is to get x by itself. In order to do this step, we must divide 54x divided by 54 and divide 45 by 54. So x should equal 45 over 54, which can be reduced by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 9 to 5 over 6. So the answer is x equals 5 over 6. We now have our answer. 9 times 4 plus 6x equals 81 was our equation. And we found after doing all of our work that the answer is 5 over 6. Now before we walk away with the right answer, we must check that it's the right answer. So we have to substitute 5 over 6 for x, and when we do so, you multiply 6 times 5 over 6, which will give us 5. And what we have left is 9 times 4 plus 5 equals 81. And, not, and 4 plus 5 equals 9. 9 times... 9 equals 81, and that is true. 9 times 9 equals 81. So we have found our answer, and we've checked that our answer is correct. So we now have our answer. Congratulations, you now, how to, you now know how to do the distributive property when solving multi-step equations. This presentation on solving multi-step equations using the distributive property was brought to you by the Hypotenuse Foundation and A and B Associates. I hope you all learn lots of math today, and I hope your math class is easier in the future. Have a great day, and good luck in your future math classes.